Rewind a minute because you said, I'm a classical singer. Yes. You've been taking classical classes. I did have a few, Judy. Yeah. Yes. How come? Three. <laughs> um, just because, obviously, not getting any younger, definitely ain't getting any prettier, and we really <laughs> don't have the energy to dance around to pop songs on stage anymore. Right. So, um, I moved down to the West Country. I didn't have any friends down here for quite a while. And, um, and I kind of was reminiscing. I was very cold and I didn't, couldn't afford heating one day in the place that I was living and I was really, really cold and really depressed. I didn't have any mates and, and I was just thinking, oh, you know, 10 years ago I was out in Thailand with Spice and Boy Zone and all that mm. and now I'm just sitting in a caravan on my own, no friends. A bit sorry for myself. Oh, don't you start me off. And, um, I'm well enough already. And, um, I put on the TV and it was a Royal Variety performance mm. and Il Devo was singing. Mm -hmm. For a really good looking bloke singing in a beautiful, they were singing in Spanish, a Tony Braxton song, Unbreak My Heart or Regress On Me. And I just thought, you know, that is just, I need to be seen again. I hadn't sung for probably six years at that time. And it was the only thing that I find particularly edifying. You know, mm -hmm. it really just, it, it just brings my whole life into being, really. So I thought, right, stop being sorry for yourself. Go and get some lessons. So I sold a few of my items to pay for six singing lessons and went and done that. And, so who um, did you go to? Is it Bonnie Bradley Bailey in down here. Coo Martin, oh, actually, right. kind yeah. of North Devon still. And um, I had five singing lessons with her to kind of help me train my voice a bit more, you know, to be a bit more classically sounding. Mm. And um, yeah, it's kind of taken it from there, really. So you had to do all the vi 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 va 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 that was kind of interesting. I love singing different languages because mm. the lyrics don't necessarily lead you in how you're having to feel about the song. You can yeah. just kind of get submerged in yeah. the music and just really feel the song um, inside. So that was kind of nice. But I have to I have to sit down with my lyrics and read everything and learn yeah. it. And now I remember the Spanish Italian songs better. Than I, I keep having to read my lyrics for the English ones because yeah. they confuse me. But Spanish Italian I, I can do pretty well. So the Totally Olivia show. Yes. Tell me how that goes. Do you come on? Do you talk? Or is it just continual music? What is it? What's the it's, um, There's 32 Living with John tracks, and they're kind of all in date order from her early stuff like Country Roads and Banks of the Ohio, all the way through the 80s and the Grease stuff to um, the last album that she released, Celebration in Song, and some kind of a couple yeah. of duets from there as well. Um, it's a really not. We have um, a company called Project Dance that are going to be supplying some dancers for some of the bigger shows to do routines for some of them. And um, we have a narrator who is incredibly funny, and she comes on and she says about the history, about a bit about the year and what happened in that year, and and introduces everything. I don't get to talk much because I probably sound a bit too common. They wanted me out. Oh, don't say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just yeah, think we've <laughs> dubbed. Actually, nobody's hearing. This is going through a mix. Really <laughs> People at home are listening to it. <laughs> <laughs> So you're not do you, you're not using your classical voice. That that is a sort of, that that that's the sort of scaffolding for your voice. Yeah. You're not going to be standing up going. No, no, no. no. Good, good, I'm good. Being raw and hardcore. Good, now. I'm that's glad it. to yeah. hear that. Love Pure it. Olivia. Not the first um, charity you've been involved with, is it? What what's this Giza? The Giza Foundation. Giza. Giza. Um, that was founded by an nomadic monk called Kelsang Pao, and um, it's kind of to send the message and to give faith for children all over the world um, that they there are people that want them safe and mm. you know away from harm and damage and stuff like that so it's just a kind of more of a an awareness raising thing than a money raising thing it's just right. about and I was made an ambassador of that I've also got my glamorous assistant here with me Debbie who runs Morning, the Debbie. quality of life animal sanctuary in Holsworthy and I've just been made a patron of that as oh, well lovely. which is amazing and 60 cats Judy oh really yeah can I give you a present what, cat? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, down fire, though. No, um, me and Debbie were chatting, and yeah. um, because we know you're such an avid cat lover, yeah. um, we've adopted a cat for you. Oh, in the Animal you? Sanctuary, yeah. Oh, called Ronnie. He's got a very famous owner as well. Oh, bless So, you. although the name escapes me. Ian Henderson. Bon. Ian Henderson. Oh, from... Um, yes. No, oh, no. No. Is it Everlasting Love? Oh, no, that's... Yeah. Um, oh, from oh. Um, Love Affair? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he... The cat went there. So. Bon. Oh, how lovely. That's terribly kind of you. So there you go. That's a bit about his history Thank as well. You. So yeah, we bought you a cat. Do I have to send food or anything? No. Or, do you know, no. just a Christmas You're always card, welcome to come and visit. Card, always welcome to come and visit. Friend stroke. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah, that's he's lovely, actually. really, really kind of you. So, but yes, yeah, so I'm involved with that one. Yeah. yeah I, I like earning you money. Had, well, you had a lot of time in that caravan. You did a lot of thinking <laughs> there, didn't you? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> to yeah. be recommended by anybody who leaves a <laughs> yeah. boy band. 
Go and Tom. live in Somerset in a caravan. Man, Ma- and you'll make you a better man. See how it changes your life. You know, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you're busy writing as well at the, at the moment. Yep. Yeah, writing with a couple of musicians around mm. the Devon area. Yeah, excellent. So, good, good, good. Um, because I love seeing classical music, and it's mm. something that you know I think I do okay, mm. and it's nice to have that to do. But I also do like. I think since we've been doing the Totally Olivia tour, mm. it's nice to kind of get back to kind of a little bit, you know, yeah. how I'd sing, yeah. probably more naturally, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we're going to do an acoustic album and everything as well. Wonderful. I'm going to see Olivia soon. Are you? In a couple of weeks, going to meet her. Does she know about you? Um, I don't know if she knows about me. Um, I don't know actually. I hope so. She, well, yeah. Probably a few people have told her, but um, don't have right to. We, her, we're right just her. part of the Amazon Herb Company, and right. she's um, something that she's doing with her with her husband John Easterling, which is kind of promoting um, kind of the Amazon rainforest and kind of taking money back there to preserve it and to keep it functioning and all that kind of stuff. And um, so we go down to Bournemouth on the 29th of September to the Marriott Hotel and. Hilton, Hilton Metropole in London, 2nd of October, so oh, I might even be singing. How wonderful. But all details are on my website as well, so if anyone wants to come and join us, they're more than welcome. But in the meantime, Friday the 11th of September at Holcombe Rogus. Yeah, that's uh, in, at the Prince Wellington of Wellington Somerset. Yeah, well, Prince of Wales Inn, uh, the Totally Liver Tour, 8.30, five pounds a ticket. Yeah, but all proceeds, We, the guys, for the last four months as well, we've not taken a penny out for petrol and our, you know Sue who's in JCG she, she comes all the way from you know the other side of Cornwall oh. to Barnstable for rehearsals and you know every penny is going towards the you know the funds good man so. and Saturday September the 19th the Polyfield that's Centre that's Friday East the Water Biddeford yeah. uh, that's at 7.30 yeah. then we've got the Plough you're at the Plough in Torrington yes good Good, good venue. Yes. Not that the others aren't, but I don't. I'm not familiar with them. No, but that's the 25th well. of September. The Plough, and a Gazer. Gazer, do you call it? Um, the Gazer Con- Foundation. Gazer concert in Tapley Park. Yeah, Tapley that, Park in Devon. That's still to be confirmed, but okay. we'll have it all on my website and everything. When and your website is www.jadencornelius. That's with an i o u s. dot com. <laughs> No. Um, should we play another track from that album of yours? Yes. What do you recommend? That's oh, do you there? want something in a different language? Oh, should we have something? Do you want something got... all like class and sophisticated? Yes. Yeah. Go on. Surprise um, us. I think number one actually. Have you got that, Danny? Yeah. Una more per sempre. Yeah. He says, oh, a love for Danny. always. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Una more per sempre. Um, from Jaden Cornelius. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, lovely to meet you. Thank you, you so Thank much you for so coming. Much. In. Thank you. you.